Okay, guys, this will be part two of the hummingbird and the final. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Some people that have been my subscribers for a while will know what's going on, and some people won't know what's going on. And why the hell is this wood spirit blue, and what are these things coming off of here? <clears throat> okay, so these are going to be flowers coming off of there. And I have a special formula that I love to do for my favorite pieces. So we'll talk about it as time goes on. But I'll say this is blue water-based wood dye. I get it from Lee Valley. And this is my uh, jar of hair of it. It's uh, water-based blue wood dye from Lee Valley. It's called Brilliant Blue or something. And I like to get it on my hands. So, why the hell is that thing leaking? Anyways. Ah, okay, the hummingbird. We'll leave that till the end of the video because it's in the, it's in the other room uh, drawing. I either modge podged it or either painted it colors. So we'll see what happens at the end of the uh, video. How's that? So I got to carve these flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. The hummingbird's going to go into one of them is his beak. But uh, I want to make them kind of like... Um, so this is cottonwood bark, guys. Okay. So watch this. I'll bend it a bit. You can see it bend. This thing could snap off easy and it just might snap off really easy, okay? So I want to make like one, two, three, four petals. I want to cut back here. Oh, and Pete, if you see that, see that? That's a burn from when I um, was using that big mandrel, that foot-long mandrel that you made me when I grinded it. It heated up super hot and pss, hit my skin. That's a burn. So, anyways... I got to cut undercut here really fragile guys because this or this will snap off if it does we can epoxy it glue back on right but I'm going to do it really fragile under here really delicate so and then so it will be like little petals folding over okay and these flowers are going to be white so they're going to be petals folding over one two three four and uh, let's just see how it uh, goes I guess uh, somebody's at my door got to go Okay, guys, so I'm going to be using this cut saw taper burr. It's the gold one. It's a super fine because I need something really not aggressive when I'm doing this because look how thin this one is. Watch. Watch it move. See? Really not aggressive and just I got to take my time doing these undercuts here. And I'm going to once again be using the um, Marathon Micro Carver. goes 35,000 RPMs. It's got a foot pedal. Maybe you gotta plug it in to get it going. But anyways, somebody's calling me now. Jeez. Probably gotta plug this in. Okay guys, sorry about that. So uh, let's get this party started. We'll start with the bottom thinnest one first. You guys, this wood dye is uh, dry. I dried it with a. Uh, see, I cut through the thing. See there? Cut through it. I can epoxy fill that. Okay, so there you go. I'll finish these other off, other ones off, and uh, I'll be doing the uh, wood burner on this one too. So on all of them, so I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I had to stop carving because this snapped, like I said it would. See, so I've left it in place. I got the epoxy mixed up, so I'm just gonna put some epoxy in there. I just wanted to show you guys that I called that it would snap because this stuff is very shaly, right? So I'll get this fixed up here now. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I've had to do major repairs on these flowers, see? See there? I had to epoxy it down there. This one, look how much epoxy I had to patch it with. And this one here too. There, 
and then down there. I knew it. I said it. They're going to get too thin. I'm probably going to cut through them. This one broke off and this one broke off. This one didn't break off, which is good because this is what which one the hummingbird's going to go into. Okay, so now I'm going to paint the white flowers white. I might do epoxy pour right in the middle of the flowers black. I'm still undecided on that, but I'm just going to quickly paint these uh, flowers white with this uh, dollar store uh, acrylic paint. Okay, so you guys don't need to see me paint these. Okay, guys, so I got the flowers all painted white, right? I need now. I want to go around with my little flap satter and, and make them like uh, like I'd like to make things like uh, antique looking. And I got the Peter Blair mandrel on here. And uh, so I'm just going to lightly hit this because I don't want to get it caught. And I don't want these things breaking off again. So I thought since these things are going to be so fragile and I don't want to sell this piece to anybody where it can break off. Right. So I thought I would drill deep down in there, use this copper epoxy inside there. And see how I got the copper, copper scruffed up at the bottom, all like uh, marked up because it will grip the epoxy better. Put the epoxy in there, wedge this thing in there. Once all that sawdust is out of there, and it will help. Like it goes deeper into the flower than, than here. So it will stiffen it up, right? If that makes sense to you. It will make this part not so fragile to break. And I'll do one where the bird's going. Got the bigger hole there. And this one in here too. We'll just pour like a black or gray epoxy and then shove this in there, wiggle it in, and it will make it solid here, right? Look, it went through again. There's another freaking hole in it. I just noticed it on the camera. The camera magnifies things, damn it. Oh boy. Okay guys, so I got the flowers antique like I like. They'll go darker once I put um, things on there. So I'm gonna do epoxy pour on this one, black. And then one in this one too, black. And we'll leave this one too because I still got to poly shade this mahogany, uh, Bombay mahogany. And I don't want to get poly shade on the, the green and red paint for the hummingbird. Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll epoxy those in. Man, oh man, I'm not going to lie and say this was easy. Those flowers, they just kept breaking off and I knew they would. But you see I got the copper in there now with the epoxy. So they're in there pretty solid good now. Okay. So it's just like a little petal thing coming out there, whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Uh, I hope I have enough Bombay Mahogany Min Wax. And for people new to the channel, my special thing, excuse me, my special thing that I like to do is I like the wood dye the wood blue first. Let it dry. You have to let it dry or it's or this stuff will never cure properly. Okay. That's just cover up. But um, so it's all dry now. It's ready to go. I painted in the eyes black. I painted in the mouth black and the nostrils black just to give it some head, uh, some advancing when you do this because this blue color and this Bombay colors, if it turns out good, it will give it kind of like a antique bronze color when this goes on. So, I guess it's time to uh, put it on. I don't know if I'm going to film putting it on, guys. Okay, well, I'll try and film a bit. I'll do, how about I just do right here, and I'll wipe it off quickly so you can see how it's kind of done. Because i got to use a brush for around here. I don't want this stuff to get up on these flowers here. So that's it so far. Friggin' pain in the butt, I'm telling you. If, if, if it wasn't for these flowers, I would have been done 20 years ago. Okay, guys, I said I'll do some of this part, so I just use these dollar store foam brushes. I should have my gloves on, but I don't, so oh well. So this will be a different color where there's no wood, like where there's no wood, uh, sorry, where there's blue stain. It'll be more red than the blue, right? But it gives it different textures. So what I do is I, I put it on, and this acts as a protector, this poly shade too, guys, so it can go outdoors, right? But I don't know, this this piece, whoever I sell it to, if it goes outdoors, I'm going to lose it because this those flowers took a freaking long time. And that hummingbird took a long, this whole piece took a long freaking time. 
but I'm enjoying it. So I don't want to get too close to that flower, guys. Sorry. So what I do is I put this, I rub it off quickly. Let's dig it a little bit more here. Okay, so I put it on and I rub it off. Shout to Ben's studio on the lake. Look at this. I, all I got, I don't have any rags left. I just got a sock. Oh, that's, I can't use this. It's all fluffy. I'll be right back. Okay, here I found a rag. So I'll give it a good wipe, wipe off. The more you wipe it off, guys, the more your color is going to come back, right? That's why I like to hurry when I do this stuff so it doesn't sink into the wood too much. Okay, so you guys can see that. And I'll hit it with my flap sounder after. So I want to get hurry up and get this done, guys. So I'll show you what it's like when be, before I hit it with the flap sander and after. Okay, guys. So here it is without all the poly shade and just wiping it without the flap sander. This friggin' little flower fell off here again. So I said, screw it. I'm not putting it back on. It fell off like five times. It pisses me off. I didn't put the copper through good enough. And uh, I just carved it out again. So now I'm just going to hit it with the flap sander quick. Okay, guys. So here it is sanded after with my little flap sander. And that's how I antique my wood spirits, guys. You don't really see that blue color, but believe me, it comes into effect. Like where it's darker right there in the middle, that's from that blue color. Okay, so it kind of sucks that there's no flower down there, but I'm just, I've just had enough. You can only do so much, guys. And don't forget, the hummingbird's got to go in too. So this guy's kind of just left alone. But my favorite part of this so far is his hair right there above his head. Whew. See how farther you cut? deeper in there the more you can get and leave the hair and the more you can get the hair to look like whoosh, it's coming out that way so anyways i'll uh let this set for about an hour just get more tacky and then i'll get that uh, hummingbird in there i'll go wash my hands and have a little break okay guys so here it is all done What color do you think the hummingbird is? I painted the flowers red. I didn't like the white. I just left it the wood color, guys. I thought it would be a lot nicer. It didn't need any color. <clears throat> I didn't give it eyes. It just has a little tiny eye there. Uh, so, hey, Ben, thanks for the, for the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'll think of the word in a minute. To get me to carve one of these hummingbirds. So it's in there pretty solid. Um... Yeah, so these flowers kept on breaking them off, breaking off, drove me nuts. But this uh, uh, brass in there, that copper, it goes all the way into the bark, so it's, the flowers are on there good now. But yeah, this one broke off. I just said the hell with it. I didn't bother putting it back on. So you guys, let me know what you think. Sorry, let me know what you think of the hummingbird wood spirit guy. I had to do a wood spirit with the hummingbird guys. My first hummingbird, so. Needed to have the wood spirit. That's my that's my signature kind of thing. I love doing the wood spirits. Like, and I blasted this guy off in about ten minutes, I think. But I'm happy with it. Let's see if you can get a full vision. Sorry, guys, I tripped. What did I trip on? Oh, look, it's all uh, cottonwood. Uh, the basswood. Some more basswood that Ben's studio on the lake gave me. Just carve her up. <laughs> that's what I tripped on. That I dropped my phone. Anyways, so here it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, please. Yeah, I like the way it's, like I said, his body's a little bit too long, I think, maybe. But whatever. <clears throat> I had fun doing this, but this, man, I'm telling you, I spent like five hours on those flowers, to, well, maybe four hours. I came home right after Beachcomb and finished it up. So it's nighttime now, so I'll finish recording now, so... Anyways, guys, look at this too. This is a Western Red Cedar, cedar Table. I've been working on it. it. needs one more coat on the finish. But it's an old uh, cast metal. It was what the lady said. I bought it for like 20 bucks. It was an old table. But uh, the lady said it was once an expensive make of a table. But um, So I just took the old rotten top off it and I made this uh, cedar one. Western Red Cedar gave it a light burn. Look at the color in that, guys. 
But uh, making these tables isn't really my cup of tea. No, I'm not into it. And I burnt the edge, and then I hit it with the sander so, you, so it highlights it. But yeah, these tables go for big bucks, but I don't know. I just want to get it out of here. It's sitting in my kitchen. There's another bench I made for my buddy that's sitting in my kitchen. Uh, that's my friend that got uh, murdered, Ian Roberts. His mom's coming to pick it up. I made it for his mom. He was a commercial fisherman, so it's a boat. And then there's a net that goes down here. I don't know if I filmed carving this. That's cedar too. But anyways, guys, here's my skull guy. Skull pole. This is first growth, real old cedar. I think I did a video carving this. But anyways, guys, this is what it's about. Hope you're all good. Let me know what you think of the, uh, how it all came together. And um, tomorrow, I gotta, I'm got i going to be doing a chainsaw carving. And I'm going back to the beach to find some more uh, cottonwood bark and fly my drone. Thanks for the, uh, what the, what's the word, Ben? Uh, to, for this hummingbird, because I, I copied yours. Thanks for the motivation. Thanks for getting me motivated to try to challenge myself because uh, I love your carvings and just carve Rob's carvings. You guys are my favorite channels. And um, I don't know. I just like the stuff you do. And I'm going to be carving one of those uh, little gnomes that you do with those little hands that you do. I ordered one of those saws online, those jeweler saws. So because I've always fought with hands and I'm going to challenge myself to plug the hands into the carving so they'll be separate pieces just like you did. Mine will be different from yours, but just like the hummingbird. Same but different. Okay, guys. See you later.